Hej och hej folkets och välkommen tillbaka till en ny video. Eh, mitt namn är Blyrud och vi ska nu fortsätta på The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe Edition. För episoden så har vi bettes episoden kan man kanske kalla för. Men tack vi ska plocka upp petten igen här nu. Så kan mer vi kan göra. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again, not truly alone, not with the bucket around. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Han dör en släv till oss gör det. Jag är ganska säker på att det är en rute här som vi inte har tagit med botten. Kan jag huska detta här? Har vi fan dem? Ja, det har nog säkert. Det blir bli reward for finding them all. Ja, det var det med där disse kvarna här då. Och jag är säker på att jag har plockat upp två av de alla de en. Och den har vi varit det. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Ska vi upp? Jag tänker vi ska gå ned denne gangen nu. Sjekka litt her mens vi går. Inn, inn til det redde rom. Men det er jo ikke redde rom akkurat. But Stanley just couldn't do it. Nei. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then, something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, okay. he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. He looked down at the bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the bucket. The bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yeah, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, Vara. this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Oh. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no good would wait, come wait, from wait, this. Wait, 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 sorts of bizarre hallucinations huh? Stanley might experience without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. No, 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 no. Now he noticed that the rooms were repeating. Oh, well, let that be better. Let that be better. But the... Now he felt himself floating off the ground. Oh, gracious. Oh. He explained. Oh. Without my bucket, I've gone oh, truly dear. mad. Where is it? I must find it. Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley! Wow. Stanley, it's me! The bucket! <laughs> Could it truly be? He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one How bucket but, after the next. None of them were his, none of them his special bucket. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to oh truly boy. restore his sanity. And he, was was he froze dead eh? in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. Uh, the bucket was inside of him all along. Wait, what? It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. Boink. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Who? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security and walked to her place of work. <laughs> but on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. Of course he'd gone mad, ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought, and she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing Compass. problems Compass. she would soon have to confront at work, this. for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. And she backflipped <laughs> all the way to work. Backflipped. Is your front flip also? Um, no, thank you for the other route we took. But if that goes to the other route, that that's gonna say, that's gonna say. The good old bucket. The good old bucket. Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. 
Yeah. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Manego Khaira for and then reached the house at Hankapur. Stanley had Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Jag tänker vi ska göra för nu gick jag här så har vi två rutor att kunna gå här. Men jag tänker väl upp och gå gå den andra verkligen vägen tillbaka till huvudrutan. Så de detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. Låt oss göra det. Istället för att ta den här sen här. Nej, jag ska göra det. Låt oss här. Låt oss se igen. Det gör han. Ja. Nu är vi faktiskt tillbaka till huvudrutan. Mm. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Ruten ned gick vi nu i stad. Bara gå upp och se om det är någon annan ruta. Hvis inte så går vi tillbaka till det punktet. Att det tar den här vägen ned. För att du får bara vänta sig på det här. Det är blivit kallare och väntligt. Vi har ju den här heisen här. Kan jag faktiskt bruka den här? Ja. Då istället för att ta huvudvägen. Som jag vill att det ska gå. Ta ju heisen här. Då ska det för exempel. Ding dong. Ja, det är ständigt här. Det stämmer så länge här. Jag syns att du lurar lite på det. Wait. Okej. Jag vill smida på att ta hästen upp då. Okej. Ja, yeah. jag tänker bara att skippa då tillbaka till det punkten lite tillbaka i tid. Alltså inte min tid, men deras tid. Jag stammar. Jag gick ju den var en här med bötten i en tidigare episod. Jag har inte gått in här med bötten. Så låt oss göra det. Ha. Vad vill den här uten har vi på? Så låt oss ta det samma What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. Yeah. <laughs> the monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Everything's gonna be all right. Diddle doodle doodle. Heis, skal vi nå ta nu? Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do? Fired. Come as a fire truck. These questions raised furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Yeah. Men då kan jag ska vi se, ja, jag går rätt på här. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two Dismantle, best friends, Sarah. Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket made Achish. a sassy comment about taking down the Jack, system. Jack, Jack, stop the guys here. Men tack på istället för att slå av. Tack för att vi ska ha lite en ondskapsfull och ta kontroll över det här. But at the last second. The bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Hey. Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. 
birds. Silly, silly birds. The control button became fuller. active again. Yeah. Who are the fuller flyers going on? Papa K. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. So Jack Stanley and the bucket all, yeah. never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place. Flipping through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. <laughs> of all the possible paths his life could have taken, this one was surely the best. Yeah, that's a fact. Stanley. I can't even imagine that, but uh... yeah. Oh, that was just an ending. But now we're going to have a cool little check. Slutter. Men ja, det var ju faktiskt en um, rute och här. Tack. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. Um. Pardon, see me now. Where are we going today? The bucket asked. Stanley <laughs> just smiled. Anywhere they went together would be perfectly fine yeah. with him. Ja. Hur får vi se gå någon vägen? Men låt oss bara fortsätta någon här. Jag går straight ahead to the opposite door. Mm, ja, nej. Låt oss ha gå ner här. Haha. Här är den. Vi har kört med bötterna då. Oh, good Stanley. I'm glad you found your way here. I knew you'd find this place eventually. We care about you, Stanley. You see, your friends and I are concerned for you, Stanley. And We've come together some... here because we care about you very much. It's Can this you like? bucket you're carrying around everywhere. The bucket isn't even from the original Stanley Parable. It's just sequel content. The well, the bucket. ones that matter, Stanley. Classic characters from the first game, like the Adventure Line and the Broom Closet. Because that's what fans want from a sequel. They want du more of their favorite jokes, not this bucket spiller. that they've never Ofer seen before. Yes, I know I'm the one who <laughs> gave you the bucket, but you're spending too much time with it. Don't you want another story involving the adventure line? We could make the adventure line go somewhere new. Yes, yes, that's what the fans want. Let's do it. The mega button is going to be on the screen. Don't do that again. Now it's just you who can tell things. The mega button is... Look at that wacky line. Who knows where it'll go off to next? Oh, and it played some silly music as well. Oh. Now this is what the Stanley Parable is all about. Don't you remember all those great jokes from the original dialogue? Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> Whoa! It's, it's as classic now as it was back then. Let's do it for oh, the fans, Stanley. Let's give them more content exactly like this. But if we want to do that, you're going to have to give something up. Vara. Nej, inte button, inte button du. Är det bra för sig ännu? Därför att. Nytt kontant. Don't you get it, Stanley? We need to get rid of the bucket. That's why I'm very proud to introduce a brand new character. This is yeah. the Bucket Destroyer. Oh boy, do oh I think boy. it'll make a wonderful new addition to the rich lore of the Stanley Parable. True, it also was not in the original game, but it's such a well fleshed out character with so much personality that to me it already feels as though it's been part of the cast all along. Don't you agree? Can you guess what the bucket destroyer does? How do you need me to spell idea, it out for yeah. you? Go ahead now, Stanley. Say goodbye to the bucket, and then pop it into the machine when you're ready. Me, Billyke. Now listen to me. It's crucial that you give it the bucket. I don't know what the bucket destroyer will do if it can't destroy your bucket. Destroying buckets is all it knows. That is its singular personality trait. 
Sure, I can hear you saying, how does a character with only one personality trait deserve to join the pantheon of beloved Stanley Parable characters? Well, you see, if you were to really explore the Bucket Destroyer, you'd see that its desire to crush buckets is so densely loaded with complexity and nuance that it's really like ten personality traits. What other object in this game can you even say that about? The broom closet? Certainly not. I wonder what sort of Bucket Destroyer merchandise the fans will be clamoring for after this. Okay, the bucket oh destroyer is getting very upset now. You'll have to hurry and feed it. We can't get back to the classic Stanley Parable characters like the Adventure Line or the Bucket Destroyer until you crush that damn bucket. Quickly now, the fans are waiting. Do it, the fans, Stanley. Give the fans what they want. Hurry and... No. <laughs> Bucket Destroyer, my prized creation. You had so much potential. We were going to do such marvelous things with you, tell such spell-binding stories about you, all of it squandered now. Goodbye, new friend. For the moment in time that you were here, you were magnificent. Hey, how are you? How are you? How are you? And the... Jeg liker å se deg, Bakke Destroyer. Vi ser deg ut. Not again, tenker jeg. Men jeg tenker vi har... Jeg vet ikke hvor mye content det er igjen og sånn. Men tenker vi det er et fint sted å avslutte her. Bakke Destroyer er gone. Og vi har mulighet til å gjøre... Ja, mulighet til å gå igjennom og spille flere ganger, så mange ganger du vil. Men jeg tenker dette er et fint sted å avslutte spillet. Hvis det er noe mer fra spillet... Si det til meg i kommentarfelt under, så kan jeg eventuelt lage en video kanskje, eller lage til andre, så har jeg lyst til å finne ut hva andre ting kanskje. Jeg har jo, jeg slo jo på den her mine ridermaskinen, jeg har ikke slått den av. Stanley Parable, fantastisk spill altså, med fortellerstammen og med bøtte turen og alt det som skjer. Fantastisk, altså. Men ja. Så hvis du da er ny til kanalen, må du selvfølgelig abonnere. Det er noen kom så trykk på tommel opp, så at du har spris på. Så inntil neste gang, folkens, så snakkes med deg. Hei ho!